Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We're jumping in again and we do have a new mod this time. It is called something or other that I can't pronounce. It begins with an A. It's this one. Apocrathy? Apoc Apocrypa? I don't know how to pronounce that at all. I am dyslexic. On the rocks. Anyways, it's a new mod pack that looks really, really cool. It adds a lot of new content. It adds, like, new consumables and stuff. So we're just going to jump in and see and try and get our 10th win. But yeah, lots of new items, some new enemies, some new consumables, stuff like that. For some reason, the randomizer wasn't working there. We're starting off with Zack here. Very nice, very nice. We're going to jump in. I am going to quickly pause the recording and look through the mod settings because I haven't done that yet. So let's do that now. Okay, there you go. That is set. It's actually got a really robust config menu. It's uh, it's like a separate earn config menu. I like it. But we're playing as Zack again. For those of you that haven't seen Zack before, he's an interesting character that has a lot of gambling to do with him. Essentially, he has these snake eyes here, and we garner poker chips for every room that we complete. And the more poker chips we gamble with, the higher the chance of a positive effect. But they can still be negative effects no matter. So normally I like to use three or four poker chips per gamble. That usually yields the best results. But the more that you hold, uh, the higher the chances you've got for something positive. And there can be a lot of different effects. They can spawn enemies, spawn consumables. Ooh, we'll take the dark lock. Um, spawn enemies, spawn consumables, and a few other things uh, like stat changes. You'll see them as, as we come across them here slightly harder room here he does start with a little bit lower stats like you can see his speed slightly lower and i think his fire rate is slightly lower than base as well i'm a little worried that uh, i'm gonna get hit by that red fire there mother isaac is doing her best but she cannot match the zack so we'll try and gamble here and see what we end up getting and we gotta speed up so one good thing about this is Especially if you end up choosing the, the same amount or around about the same amount of uh, poker chips every time. You'll essentially get um, the chance for stat ups and stat down to kind of balance yourself out. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Um, for the question of the day today, what is something you have done that you have heavily, heavily regretted? Um, mine? I, like, mine's... I'm actually not sure on mine because I've, I've probably got quite a few and I'm trying to pick... One that's like, I don't know. Ooh, we got uh, something new here, and you trink it. What does this do? Uh, this seems familiar. Okay, so it might be the case that this mod doesn't have EID descriptions yet, which is fine. I did take a little look at the um, mods page prior to installing it to take a look at what some of these do. I was just about to say, if I remember correctly, this one replaces rocks with poops sometimes, and we just saw that happen there. So there you go. That's actually pretty good. I'll, I'll keep that for now. Uh, that could end up being kind of useful as we go across. I'm guessing it only happens in new rooms. But yeah, I'm trying to think of what's what's something that I regret a lot. I did speak about um, in the in the last episode, or episode before, where when I was like a really young kid, like I used my parents' credit card to buy things. That that was regrettable, um, <laughs> most certainly. But that's really not sort of the th what thing that I'm thinking about. Um, I guess one of them would be um, in in university. Uh, I made a few friends, and I essentially unfriended all of them at the same time and I don't mean on Facebook I mean actually like ah oh, there you go so we got to speed up then we got to speed down <laughs> that's the way it rolls sometimes but yeah um I essentially like in one fell swoop lost like a whole group of friends but I mean I, I do regret it in the way that in the way that I lost the friends and the kind of the way that it happened but also in the long run I don't regret it that much because I it ended up kind of working out okay but Wait a minute, how do we do this? I can never remember how to do this, okay. There you go, we got a secret room as well. Yeah, essentially, um, I, had a, I had a few friends uh, in university that like I met while I was there, and um, I got I got pretty close with one of them. Um, this girl, I won't, I won't uh, mention her name. I was with my girlfriend at the time, so it wasn't anything romantic or anything. We were just good friends. Um, but uh, she was somewhat romantically involved with one of my other friends. But there was kind of this crisscross where she would claim to really not like my other friend or get really annoyed at him and complain. I would sort of be the middle ground. So he would complain to me about her. And she would complain to him, uh, uh, to me about him. And there's just this back and forth and me being in the middle ground and having to hear one of my friends bitch about one of my other friends almost constantly from both sides. And eventually I got kind of sick of it. And then like... I didn't know this until later on, but I found out that they were sleeping together and I was like, well, so you're complaining about each other all the time, all the while you're sleeping with each other. What the hell? Why am I the one that has to deal with all the flack of you guys complaining? 
if this is going to be how it is. So I was really frustrated and I ended up essentially kind of, ooh, come on Fracture again. Very nice. I ended up kind of um, like breaking off the friendship with both of them because I was just very, very annoyed. But one massive thing I regret about it. Um, uses a random book every third room. Ooh, that's really good. Uh, also, just before I continue with the story, this is one of the new things that we have here. For one, it's not from special chest, chest pools. Ignore that. I'm going to use my snake eyes here to get that out of the way. Hey, trinkets. Um, I'll take this. This, These are floppy disks. This is a new type of card slash pill. Apparently, they're like a combination card pill. So this is an uncorrupted version. Summon several friendly champion bug enemies and corrupted version... Um, the same effect, but the bugs aren't friendly. So this, we pop it. Oh, this is the corrupted version. Okay, I'm not sure if you... I'm not sure how to know if it's the corrupted version or not. But that's not a bad thing if these champions can drop stuff. So yeah, it seems like the EID descriptions are a little bit boxed. I also got a significant FPS drop upon using that for some reason. Uh, also, this is a really late game enemy there. This is, this is going to be kind of tough. Ooh, Eternal Fly there as well. Let's be careful of you. Do you want to pop your head up, sir? Would you like to show your face? Nope, my dip just walked right into you. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Champion version of this guy. He's he's pretty pretty mean, pretty big. Didn't get any champion drops from any of them, though. But yeah, we're going to be finding those from time to time. New, a new type of consumable, the floppy disk, as part of this new mod. They seem pretty cool. I like the idea behind them. Um, having a new type of consumable is, is pretty fun. I like it. I'm not quite sure on the theming of the mean floppy disks, but it kind of it kind of makes sense. You're in the old basement, you find old technology. Kind of, I kind of get it. We'll try and use the Soul of Eve here on the boss. Do you remember we've got two bosses back to back? But yeah, as I, as I was saying, um, one of the big regrets I had is uh, this is this is very selfish, but it is definitely part of the regret is um, the one of my friends. Um, oh, what the hell? What the hell's all this? Um. Why did we get Dark Bum then? Where did that come from? I am confused. Oh, we used a book. Wait. So we lost an item. What, what did we lose? We lost Compound Fracture. You dick. Damn, that's so upsetting. I do, like, I, I'm kind of okay with it also. This is uh, Eternal Champion Plum. Oh, damn, he's got some moves. Do you know what? I'm using some bombs on this guy. Okay, good. And, yeah, we got a devil deal here. So I will pop that and grab false PhD here. I'll pop this as well. We got slim odds. I think that just lowers the chance of our next one being successful. Um, And then here, I'm going to take a bit of a gamble and do this. Excuse me. What? I'm confused. Okay, I'm happy with what I got, but I'm confused. Okay. Anyways, after all of that nonsense, uh, let's go back to our shop and see what our shop has to offer. Um, in this, uh, playing as this character, shops were actually changed a bit. We Instead, we get uh, tables that um, we can get extra uh, gambling chips off of. But yeah, what I, was, what I was saying is one of my friends, the female one, her parents owned a steakhouse. And like multiple times they let us go there and have like free steaks and booze. And it was awesome. And I know that sounds really selfish, but it was a real bummer to lose out on that. I did, I did also like her as a friend as well. It wasn't just that. So let's try and buy this floppy disk and see what this one does. This is Deadlock. Um, let's drop it on the floor and have a little look. So. Uncorrupted freezes half of the current numbers of enemies in the room. In the room, the corrupted freezes half of your followers instead. Enemies dying and being summoned will unfreeze or freeze enemies, so the number is always half rounded down. Interesting. And we'll grab three poker chips here. Actually, we can grab more than three. Grab a few. Did it? I pressed the wrong bloody thing. We got to speed up though. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, let's continue onwards. Pretty good run so far. Pretty good run. Um, our damage is really high. I'm a little sad to have lost compound fracture. Quite so early. That is pretty devastating, but it is what it is. And I'm, I'm definitely down to keep this uh, this trinket going. Replacing rocks with poop every now and again sounds pretty useful, to be honest. Because um, it could give us access to consumables behind rocks and stuff. Also, every third room activating a book just is crazy good. <laughs> I'm really happy we've got that going on. That is very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's keep her going. 
Curse of Creation. Ooh, a little bit of lag from the, uh, the water droplets there. I like the little effect it does, the visual effect it does when you, um, when you, when the rocks turn into poops. Okay, we got, we got two golden chests. That's actually pretty good. But right now, it's not super useful. Okay, two rooms. By the way, could some... This would be super nice. Could someone just make a mod that disables these? <laughs> these little waterfall things. Because they are... Like, I, I realize that requesting mods isn't the best idea. Because people don't, want to, don't just want to do my bidding. People just go tell me to do it myself. But they cause by far the most lag of anything. By the way, this uh, one thing I will say just real quick is this mod pack is slightly untested, at least by me. So I am unsure as to how it's going to affect the performance of my game. I intend to keep the mod on no matter what, unless it is like truly terrible because it seems like a really, really good mod. So far, the performance seems mostly fine though. I'm noticing small dips here and there, a little more than usual, but it's nothing crazy. Also, yeah, the amount of damage we have from room to room here is pretty crazy. The Judas's Fez was a great pickup. Actually, we have a very, very intriguing setup going on that I didn't even think about. Tears down, that's very bad. Um, we have the Papyrus Rags, which is activating a random book every three rooms. And then the Judas's Fez, which is activating Book of Belial every three rooms. So we are like the actual librarian right now. Hanged Man is decently useful here. We do have two keys available now, but I'd still prefer to go to my item room first. We got a frog boy in here. Ah, he almost got me. Okay, he will... T oh, God, he did get me. It's okay, the black heart killed everything, I think. Not everything. There's some headless boys. Some headless fellas. Another card there. Ooh, the nightshade is really good. I love the nightshade. And I didn't get Vegemite, which is fine. So this is going to give us little Herming Wispies. I will pop... I popped the wrong thing again. Disappointment. Most certainly disappointment. Come on, you. Go down, you little host. But it's fun to see another big mod pack make its way onto the scene. We don't get a lot of them, so it's nice to see. I'll grab that. You gave me a card, the stars. Would have been nice to have saved a key, but... Hey, but like, look how laggy this room is just because of these waterfalls. It's so weird how these waterfalls, like, impact performance so much. Whenever you get Rainmaker, that's a big problem. Right, let's quickly go back and uh, open our golden chests. And we'll see how we do after that. But yeah, I'm not too worried about lower tier rate and, or, or even lower damage if we end up getting there at the minute because we have a really good setup for uh, using a lot of books and getting a lot of good stuff. So there's another floppy disk. See, they seem reasonably common here. Um, we got the deadlock again, so let's use that in the uh, the boss fight. I think the way that it works with them being, like it says, uncorrupted and corrupted, I think that is legitimately just like a random chance. When you, when you use it, it doesn't clearly state whether one's corrupted or not, uh, but one can be corrupted once you use it. So it's, uh, like I said, it's kind of like a pill where it could be good or it could be bad. So we will try it. It said that it freezes our familiars, which I honestly don't really care about at the minute. So let's try and use it in the boss and get some extra value. We'll use it in here. It didn't seem to do anything to the boss. Oh, no, there you go. It seems to have activated Broken Murdom. Like a Broken Murdom style. How did that not hit you? There you go. Yeah, it's like a Broken Murdom style effect. It's pretty useful. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Get another devil deal here, which I will definitely take a little look at. Pentagram's really good here. Grab that. Our black heart as well. Don't really want pound of flesh here. And do you want to grab that real quick, my little fella? My little dude, my little guy? So far, the interesting look into this mod. We've already seen a decent amount from it without actually seeing any of the enemies or items. But I'm sure we'll come across them quite rapidly here. I think we got, um... Oh, we got two books in one there. We got Book of Belial and the uh, Book of Secrets, I think. Grab that. Do our dice. We got a curse. That's actually fine by us because we get massive damage ups when we've got curse. So don't bother me. We do have two curses on this floor at the minute now, though. Check in here. We do have a crane game and we have some pretty good trinkets. I actually think that this one is well worth getting if we can grab it. Um, we don't need to bother messing around with it yet, but later on if we can. That's Yeah, that's a lot of poops it's replacing. Also, Lemmageddon there. I think it just gave us Latch Key, which obviously isn't super useful, but hey, hurt better than nothing. 
Just sad that it won't give us the soul heart we so desperately need. Nah, we don't desperately need it, but it would be nice. Uh, so we do have one key so far, but I'm not quite ready yet. Uh, do you know what? I will play this. This could reward us with even more money than we spend on it. And as long as you have over 7 cent, you can guaranteed get a payout from these things. We got another floppy disk. Um, this one. Uh, always included in the pool of floppy disks. The ra randomizes current pill and floppy disk pool. Same effect, but increases the chance for non-RNG floppy disks to be corrupted. Let's just give it a go. Why not? Sounds kind of interesting. Yeah, we are an absolute librarian right now. It's pretty great. <laughs> just activating books on the regular. I love it. Snake eyes again. Let's go. Ooh, there you go. We got, uh, oh, no way. So not, so Snake Eyes just gave us an item, which is rare, but we now have an insane setup because Dirty Mind has a chance to turn rocks into poop and we have a trinket that's a chance to turn rocks into poop. So we have like double the chance and we're getting value out of every single one. That's going to be kind of insane. That's going to be kind of insane. I, I really like that. This is a, a very good combo to get. So yeah, we want to be destroying all the poops we can here, really. Right, we do have a key if we want to get that trinket, but I still haven't found my item room yet, so I'd rather wait on that. So we'll see, we'll end up seeing how many uh, rocks turn to poops, but I reckon it's going to be like a good like 20 or 30% of rocks every room. Ooh, that was a new enemy there. He died pretty quick, but that was a new enemy. Ooh, Ipecac shot coming over. I think there is some new challenges as well, which do remember we do have some challenges that we need to do uh, because there's some modded ones and the vanilla ones as well we need to go through too because technically when I've reset my save file with the dead god, it does reset your challenges as well, which means that we've got it we've got it all to do. Don't know why I used to bomb there. I just felt like being a bit faster. I'm not quite sure where secret room is at the moment. I'm not 100%. It could be here to be honest. It looks like it could be there. You see? Right, let's pop Snake Eyes again here. Disappointment again. Luckily, it was only one enemy, though. Okay, my dips are uh, having a little bit of a hard time here. It's okay, though. We have a near-endless supply of them now, which is beautiful. Wait, I'm confused. Did I... I thought I went into my secret room. Did I not go into the secret room? What happened there? Oh, I think I got Curse, Curse of the Mazed into that other room. That was very confusing. Okay. Sigil of Knowledge. Oh, we got another item. And that Sigil of Knowledge is... Um... Can we search items? I don't know if you can search them. Hmm. It's not on here, so... General mods? No. No. I don't know if I can find that, to be honest. I'm going to be... Yeah, I'm going to be honest if I can. And you can't search them via here. I don't know what the Sigil of Knowledge does, but we got it. I think that's from the mod pack that we've just installed, so... We'll find out, I guess. We'll find out. Explorer's Instincts. Oh, maybe it's just that. Oh, maybe it's just that one. Okay, it might just be that. It's just that the... Um, the Lemmageddon Wisp looks a different look. It doesn't look the same. That is... Uh, little fella there. We will definitely take a prayer card though. Pretty happy with that. And ooh, hello. Eternal fella. Floppy disk again. Uh, gives Isaac a random tech item for the room. Displays a pop-up for a few seconds. Interesting. Let's try that out, shall we? I'm actually going to... I don't even need to go and get the uh, trinket now because I'm definitely going to keep the one that I've got. So let's do tech support. We got um, Jacob's Ladder for the room. That's a pretty cool one. Tears down again. Two tears down and no tears up. This is the one problem that you can have with uh, with Zack. He can be a little brutal on that side of things. Sometimes you end up just getting absolutely screwed by... It constantly giving you the the wrong stats down. Basically, it's like a it's like kind of a lighter version of Data Miner. It really is. They've they've, they've embodied Data Miner into this character. 
So you, you've, you've really got to play with a bit of risk and a bit of reward, which I do like. I do definitely like the risk reward, but when the risk isn't in my favor, then I don't like it. <laughs> um, we'll spawn either. Okay, that's pretty good. We can just use that now and it'll give us what we need. Paralysis will give us a black heart. Gives us another black heart. This is a very good room for us. Three black hearts in here. A look down for a damage up, yes. Speed. That's a speed down. There you go. There's the look down. But damage is looking very tasty now. Already was, but even tastier now. Nice. Okay, we'll get a random book in here. Book of... Uh, oh, we've got, we got a damage up book. I, I can't remember what it was called now. Well, I can't remember. Book of Belial? Book of Belial. Okay, this guy is hitting me a bit, but honestly, with the amount of damage we've got and the amount of health we just got, we don't really mind. And even more damage. This run is going exceptionally well. Exceptionally well. Alright, let's keep it moving. Keep it moving and grooving. Okay, so the lost. Free item here. And a free item there. Good stuff. Good stuff. Double the items. I don't know how Tonsil will perform here, but I'll keep it. Oh god, my tears are so low. That's one thing that I always find. I think I've spoken about this a little bit before. Sometimes I'm like, is my FPS low? No, my speed and tears are just really low and it feels like my FPS is low. There you go. Pretty free room there with two pretty decent items. Tonsil is a little... It's whatever. It's okay. Soul of Jacob and Ezao. And whatever other rune that might be. Hagendaz. I'll take it. Ooh. Little bit of a treacherous room here. The little wisps we get, the herming ones, are so valuable. They do a lot to help us out. I'm actually pretty happy we have Dark Bun, by the way. Like, at first I was like, oh no, Compound Fracture. But now I'm kind of like, I like Compound Fracture. We had it recently and Dark Bun has provided. Like, he has been our provider. He has taken care of us in our time of need. A disappointment again. Oh, this is Eternal. This guy's Eternal. He is, he is dropping bombs. And he's immune to his own bombs too. Okay. This is a reasonably tough fight. But our bomb did good. Our bomb did good. He did unfortunately destroy a rather large number of my dirty buddies. I would have liked to have kept them, but we will accept. Oh, what the hell's this? Um... White poop has a chance to replace normal poop. Destroying a white poop has a chance to drop... What the hell? We've got to try this. I don't know why it's invisible, but I've got to see if this... Uh... It do. It do indeed work with dirty mind. I wish I could hold both trinkets, but... Holy poops. Pretty good synergy. Pretty good synergy. Slightly sad that I don't get to hold both trinkets and get even more poops. Ow, that was just a bad hit. But we can stand within the Holy Dips radius to get stat bonuses. I think that's pretty swell. I think that's pretty swell. This is... We've got two really cool synergies. We've got this book synergy, the librarian stuff going on. But then we've also got this dip synergy going on now too, which is even better. Bankrupt. I don't know what that did because it didn't take away my money. Don't die, my little buddies. Don't die. Yeah, if we stand within this tiny radius, we get a nice bit of a uh, bonus fire rate and everything. We get we get a lot of stats from that. Quickly check this out. Eh. We can upgrade you, though, I think. Oh, wait, no. We don't have anyone we can upgrade. Sad times. That's fine. I thought you could upgrade Dark Bomb. Oh, well, there's permanent herming. Oh, we got uh, fish visuals. I don't know where they came from. 
Yeah, permanent herming here. Pretty good. This is quite the saucy run. Solar cane here as well, even better. Check out our secret room real quick. Ooh, wait. Soul of Cain plus Explorer's Instinct. We know exactly where our red room is. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, okay. I'm a little torn here. Because I, I actually think taking double Harlequin baby and then upgrading. Oh, we can take both. Doesn't matter. I'm stupid. Oh, it, do you know? The, the giant poop really should... Wait, where's my trinket? Oh, shit. My trinket's invisible, isn't it? Um... There it is. Okay. I was very confused then. For some reason, it's invisible. Uh, yeah, so... Getting to Harlequin babies, I think, could be kind of fun if I go over towards my, um... What's it, what's it called? Sewing machine. And upgrade them a little bit. I can only upgrade them a few times, but I still think it could be nice to have. I, why have I become a fish man? What happened here? I've just become this, this, this giant fish. Harlequin baby upgraded. Other Harlequin baby upgraded. And third Harlequin baby upgraded. Beautiful. Wait, the other one lost his crown. Did he get up? Oh, I think I think having two of the same one confused the game. Ow, bad trip. It's okay, give me a black heart back. Okay, our eternal dips are lasting a while too. They've been chilling for a good amount of time here. We have a golden key. And there's a lot of money. So, I've just got to go and check this. How exactly does this work? God damn, our speed is so low. Our heckin' speed is quite low. How the hell does this work now, then? Does this actually let me upgrade him or not? It does. It does. Aha! The double upgraded Harlequin babies. That's pretty nice. It seems like they fire quad shots now. I actually don't want to use my active at all at the moment. Okay, you stay away. This army of poops is crazy. It's such a large army. Hey, okay, some more dips there for us. Why not? Snake eyes again. Heavy handed. I keep getting unlucky with my with my draws here. Maybe I should just wait until I've got more to use. Wow, this is... I was like, but well, this is a lot of dips and I just realized they're all mine. Like, there's a lot of poops that aren't dying. Oh, wait, they're all my poops. Definitely that tears up. I think I'll grab that. I was hoping for bookworm. In fact, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. Oh, we had a range down in there. I'll take a range down for a damage up. Hell yeah. Range right, down. keep going. This is quite the run we've got going on here. Quite the special run. Just have so many dips. Oh, it's really nice having... Um, what's it called there? Nah, I need this trinket. Really nice having a uh, Luigi board. I quite like the Luigi board. So let's let's try and get up into the orange version of the chips first and have a bit of a higher chance of success. Because at the minute, things aren't working out for us. Oh, that's a lot of money. Is that it? No, there's still some, some of you guys. God damn, I love this fact that we've got like a herming shot. Surrounded by a lot of smaller herming shots. I will say, frame rate is not great. <laughs> it's certainly something like... like the, the, I am slow, my fire rate is a bit low. But it's certainly something to do with the new mod, I think. My, my 
the lag is, is a little heavy. I might have to tweak my mod list a little bit to be more friendly. I'll see. Hey, we got another one of these bad boys. More holy dips. Can we have... We can have multiple too. So we've got four now. That's pretty awesome. Four holy dips. Eventually, let's just try and get all holy dips. Okay, one more... Uh, one more, what's it called? Chip for us. Oh my god. I mean, we're just doing great damage normally anyways, but if we're in the holy dips, we're doing so much more. The fire rate increase is crazy as well. Why do you keep going across the spikes, dudes? Not a good idea. In fact, actually, yes, come across the spikes. <laughs> okay, so this should be our next use of snake eyes here. Oh, no, still got one more to go. Oh, there's another holy poop there that we can't get to. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Ha, ha, ha. And this time we got three. This is a lot. And a lot of holy poops. Wow. There's a door up that way. Cool. Yeah, we got a lot of holy poops right now. This is a really good synergy. It's very hard for us to not have the holy dip bonus. At this point in time. There you go, look. So we'll use snake eyes now. And this time we got this. We got locust of death, which I don't actually want. And we got... Um, Isaac goes to sleep uh, as if he touched a bed. Instantly heals all enemies to full. We don't need either of those right now. Nice. Don't kill my dips, please. My dips are my children. Oh my god, this is just crazy. Oop, another floppy disk. Floppy disks are very common. Um, removes up to three full hearts from the player, spawning three random heart pickups. Creates a circle of dangerous creep around the player. Removes hearts as if you took damage, but does not count as taking damage. We'll leave that one for now. Eternal Mother. Remember, she spawns little monsters and stuff. We do, we've already done a ton of damage to her, though. We, we're pretty much good to go here. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely annihilated. Unfortunately, we were not in time for a boss rush by quite quite a quite a large margin, actually. We'll take the Polaroid and we'll keep going. Pretty happy with this run so far. Things could not be going better for us. We're clearing rooms at such speed as well. God, I love it when all the holy dips are like stacked on top of each other when we first enter a room, and it's just like this. There's absolutely bright, glowing aura around us. The poison's also helping out quite a lot as well, actually. Good. Yeah, look at this massive aura of just glowing beauty. Oh, what the hell? We glitched it out again. Ooh, hello, pride. I don't know. Do I want pride, though? Yeah, I've got enough holy dips to last me the rest of the run. Let's just keep pride. Pride is pride is very overpowered. And also, we got a really cool-looking pride, because we got the mausoleum one. I wonder if you can get eternal champion pride. That'd be funny. Botfly. So yeah, I like, I'd, I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but I feel it's relatively unlikely unless there's like a really bad room. Um, damage down. Ugh. Uh, unless there's a really bad room that we lose all of our holy dips. Th th I think it's got to take a few specific types of rooms for that to happen. I did just lose one of them, but that's only one. I've still got quite a few left. I'm just keep her going. Hard to tell when they die, to be honest. A, a good way to keep them alive is keep a nice regular flow of other dips, because they protect. They kind of sit on top and protect them. Okay, nice. Another use of that. Okay, this guy could actually kill them because he stomps his feet about. But he's dying real quickly, so let's not worry about that. Oh, he did actually kill like two of them there in one stomp. Okay, maybe they won't last all run. I was thinking it'd be a bit better than that, but... 
looking unlikely. Ooh, some good stuff here. Um, I think piercing is a must. I'll take this as well. We'll leave Succubus for now. Piercing's really good, and the um, star at the bottom must pit is just redonkulously overpowered, so kind of a must pick up. By the way, people keep asking what mod that's from. It's from a mod called Something Wicked that is unreleased currently. Someone in my Discord, a friend, made it, and um, they have not released the mod yet. Oh my god, it's redonkulously overpowered. Look how many, look how many locusts we have already. We've, we've cleared two rooms, and we have like a full suite of locusts. My god. Whoa! The hell was that? I loved it. I don't know what happened, but I loved it. Yeah, bomb flies getting in there. So many locusts doing our bidding. This guy's eternal. What does the eternal one do? Oh, it just fires a big chub. Snake eyes. Cursed. I honestly am so bad. Like... I I saved up so many and I still get screwed. Another floppy disk. Um, randomizes key bomb coins to enemies and rocks. Duplicates a few enemies in the current room and randomizes rocks. Then we'll swap around. Let's try it. Let's try it. Whoa. Interesting. I don't know where I'm going now, by the way. I'm completely lost. I've been this way. Carry on down this way. Hope for the best. Okay. Cast with all the champions as well here. Ooh. We're only one on one holy dip left. I can't believe they died off so quickly. I'm not really playing into them anymore, though. I'm not really playing around them so much. So maybe that's why. Another charge. Don't know where I got that from, but thank you. I wonder how many books we've used this run, because it's it's got to be a lot. Ah, there was an Ipecac shot. I didn't see that. I most certainly did not see that. Did I keep forgetting where we've been. Not having mapping is the worst. Oh, we've already been that way. Cursed again. That's another curse on top of the ones we already have. So did I, go, did I just go to a dead end again? I'm guessing that's the case, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, haven't been this way yet. Things are getting just one shot right now. Oh, this was a dead end as well. Why is the womb like this? It's, it's only when you have Curse of the Lost as well. That's the most annoying thing about it. Like... You don't have Curse of the Lost and you just beeline it straight to the boss. You got Curse of the Lost and it's like, nah, you're going to go every which wrong way you plausibly can. Don't know how I didn't get hit there at all. Oh, there's still a host here, I see. He's just breathing heavily. He's a snorer. Hello, sir. I might play you. I don't need to donate any money. See if I can get anything from you. There you go. Health upgrade. Very nice of you. Very nice of you. Oh, black heart back there. Thank you, Dark Worm. I realise I haven't been giving you the attention you deserve. Oh, look. Bad trip. Game. I'm, I'm playing into Snake Eyes as much as I can, and it is just not, it's not conceding whatsoever. We got another little brim here. And we got Herming for this room that we already have. Okay. See how this goes. Are you going to pop down at any point? There you go. Oh, the bomb flies are doing work. There you go. 
Nice easy kill on Mum's heart there. Basically every single choice available to us here. I think we can do Hush. Lump of coal would definitely help. Not Krampus' head. I said lump of coal. God. Yeah, let's go try and do Hush. Give it a bash. Hey, that's very nice. A dice shard here could be pretty positive. Ooh, wait. Does this work in these? One second. It doesn't, you bastard. Okay, let's see what we, got go what we got going on. Um. First of all, do we have an... Yes, we do. Okay, so we definitely take this little dude because he's upgradable. Then we grab that. We quickly check out what we got going on in here. I think I die shard both of these. I think I'm gonna take Bomber Boy here. No. Grab 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 blah, 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 blah. grab me pride. And then here I upgrade oh I it upgrades a little brim first. Wasn't my intention, but okay. I do wish you could pick, but I don't think you can. Oh, bollocks. If you, in case you couldn't tell, didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's go fight the boss. We used a book of virtues before this room. Yes, Bomber Boy works on our little uh, flies, as you can see. Very useful. And I think it works on our tiny bomb here as well, look. Oh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. But as long as it works and I fly, so that's good for me. Dude, no! No! Wasted Gigabomb! I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. That was evil. That would have been such a high amount of damage and the game was like, mm, lol. Funny if not, though. Don't you dare be underground. He's ruined everything. He has legitimately ruined all that I hoped to love. Why did you do that? And I got a damage down. It's fun. All this. And you go underground twice in a row when I gigabomb you. Look at these gigabomb marks. Like, you're not even underground, you're in a hole. You are in a hole, sir. He's not li <laughs> he is not liking this. Okay, the, the bomb flies are really killing it right now. Bomb locusts. He's really trying to throw all he's got at me, but it's not working. Also, the bombs don't seem to hurt me at all, which is rather nice. Wow. That was a very quick kill, considering both those Giga Bombs didn't land. Do I just say, how do we even escape here? Oh god, I've got to go all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Up we go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see uh, if I, what I can do to, to slightly solve some of the lag issues we're having here. Look at the amount of locusts. Star of the Bottomless Pit needs a nerf. Desperately. <laughs> it should not give you this many locusts on kill. It's, it's redonkulous how many it gives. I like it being a good item, and I think it still will be a very good item, but I don't know what the chances are to get a Locust, but they need to be like a quarter of what they currently are. Especially considering it gives War Locusts too. The War Locusts are by far the strongest. Right, keep it going. A lot of Pulses. Ah, some of the polities didn't spawn because the pot, pots got replaced by uh, poops. That's pretty funny. Eternal death. God damn, look at them all. Uh, randomizes bombs, keys. We can do that again, actually. Why not? 
Golden poop, there you go. Not that I need the money. Right, armor boy, go there. What do you have for me, secret room? Look down. I, I When was the last time Snake Eyes gave me something positive? When was it? Because I do not remember. Big sad. You're dead. My, my flies are just going to annihilate you. If they fancy it. They didn't really fancy it, to be fair. Ow. A lot of hits taken so far. Is it on enemy hit or on enemy kill that I get locusts? Because I think it's on enemy hit. I think it's on enemy hit. I will check after this room, but if it's on enemy hit, that's it's kind of redonkulous. Like, encyclopedia, inventory. Chance to spawn a blue fly upon tears hitting enemy. Ugh. I think it's just broken. I think it's just w not working as intended. Oh, wait, no. Of course... Converts all blue flies to locusts. Okay, I see, I see. Spawns a blue fly and tears hitting enemy. Okay, yeah, it, that's way too strong. It needs to be on kill. And it still needs to be a chance, too. <laughs> Pretty happy with that, and the rest I'll reroll. Um, tier multiplier and damage. Drift stick as well. Decent. I was wondering why I was getting so many locusts in the hush fight, because I thought it was on kill, but yeah, it's, it's not. Whoa, this guy has a lot of health. Snake eyes? Oh, look, it's a tears down. Keep her moving and grooving. We are blitzing through the rooms, though. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Snake eyes. Disappointment. Always. Snake eyes has been very brutal to me this day. Lots of batteries. Not that I need them, really. Ooh, he's eternal. He's eternal. Thank God he died so quick. Ah, I got hit again. Oh, I got a turtle, baby. Where did you come from? A wall of fire broken projectiles dealing heavy contact damage. Let's try it. I got a turtle, baby, at some point. Hello, my friend. It's me. That's an eternal version of this bad boy. Yum heart. I hope he's actually kind of low. We need to be careful. We should be fine, but... Not get too cocky. He's eternal as well. Shit. Ooh, the light beams are choreographed now. Since when? What mod's doing that? Or is that just the eternal version of this guy? It's pretty fucking crazy. Oh, wait. I'm, 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 I'm shooting at pride. For the longest time, then, I was shooting at pride. This is tough. I mean, we're, we're, we're doing pretty well. But also, we need, like, a lot more damage on him for this to work. I might die here. Like, I, I can't really dodge a lot of what he's throwing at me here. There's too much on screen. There's too much going on. But there you go. We got him. We got him. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this first look into this new mod and the next episode in the series. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.